Welcome, welcome to Thoughts Roundup. How nice it is to be with you again today. Well, we, we are in uh, the city of Russellville, Arkansas. Russellville, Arkansas. And Brother Thrasher? Yes, sir. It's so good to have you. Yes, sir. Thank you for being on the program. Oh, yes, absolutely. We had such a good service Wonderful. at his church. And uh, then we, we've we come out and had a good meal. Yes, sir. We've had, a, I had the old chili and... <laughs> chili and Frito pie. And so Frito pie, that's what. A lot of churches is built on Frito pie. <laughs> yes, they and, are. And, and uh, the... Uh, Candy. The, oh, we gotta have peanut that. brittle. <laughs> peanut brittle is definitely a staple. <laughs> yes. No doubt about that. Uh, Y'all, pardon me. I've got uh, a little bit of something deep in my throat, but can't let it stop me. No, sir. So I yes. enjoyed so much being with you. Well, it was wonderful, powerful move of the Holy Ghost. And uh, and you've got a good church. Thank started. you. Before we forget, give us the name of the church and the address. The name of the church is Apostolic Revival Center, and uh, we're located at 1101 South Arkansas, right here in Russellville, Arkansas. Beautiful, beautiful country. Yes, sir. Beautiful outside. And, and your folks were so energetic, and they worship so much yes, sir. tonight. They were excited about this meeting. Very well, excited. We had a good time. How long have you been here? Well, we started this church in February of 2019. I see. So this we're going on our second year. Uh -huh. And uh, February will be two years. And it has been good. God has blessed us. Uh, this oh, is, you've got a it's been good tremendous. church. It's been good tremendous. Church, yeah. And uh, we're excited about what's gonna what's happening and what's gonna happen in the future. We're really excited about the spirit of revival that's here, Brother Mark. Now, the building we're in right now, it's, it's not close to the church, I would say. It, I mean, it's not far, but I mean, it's not right on the same property. And it is, this is kind of for young people and it, stuff? It is. What? We we were able to get this building. It's a, This is a, a 40 by 70 building. And we took it, made it a gym. The kids can play ball, basketball. They have youth service here. Uh, they do everything over here, and it's all of theirs and a great outreach to the youth of this city. But uh, it's uh, it's been great to have this, to be able to do all the youth things that we do. And we have a, a pretty good growing young people uh, youth group. And, yeah. and the name of our youth group is Ignite Youth. Ignite and, uh, youth. that is what we, we, we label that, and they are some great kids. Now, great where, kids. now where did you come from? Well, I was, I was born and raised in East Texas. And uh, my my home church, I was uh, born in uh, the Holy Ghost, and, and actually I was born in Texarkana, Texas, and uh, yeah. went to Landmark Pentecostal Church uh, for a long time. Or, or Brother Calhoun is Brother, now. Brother Calhoun pastors that beautiful, wonderful church. Uh, just a they just recently got the new building. Oh yeah, it, it, it is there. excellent. It is a tremendous, yeah. tremendous building there on I thirty, and uh, but. Uh, that's now, what, what part of Texas was you raised in? I was raised uh, most of my life in East Texas, in Texarkana. And then uh, after we were married, uh, we went down to South Texas and uh, lived in Austin, Texas. And uh, were there for about, about 15, 16 years. And I've pastored a couple of churches. So I pastored one down in uh, Edna, Texas. Which Edna. is Edna, Texas, down on 59. I know about that. Yes, sir. And... Uh, and then uh, in, in not too many years after that, we pastored also in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Uh, right Sulphur out, Springs? Yes, sir. Right out, right on I-30. That's out, not far from Greenville. Oh, right there. The 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something yeah. like that. Not far away. And, and uh, so we've been around Texas most all our life, but here we are. Has, has Dallas come out that far yet? It looks like it. You, can, you can't tell the difference when you get to about Sulphur Springs. It, it, it kind of comes together. It does. Yeah, it looks like one. You can't hardly tell Rockwall is even there anymore when you go through Sulphur Springs and Greenville. It. Beautiful place. Now, now, what are you going to, what's your, what, uh, besides just winning people to God, 
you got anything here that you're planning on doing that's going to spark things and help things? And oh, I do. Oh, my. Uh, probably too much. Yeah. And uh, But one of the things we, we've done, this will be our second year, is uh, we started a youth conference called uh, Inferno. It's called Inferno. We did it last year in uh, October, the end of October. And that's coming up in November. November the 11th, we're doing Inferno 2022. Uh, uh, Reverend uh, Brother Clark Copeland, you great young man, oh, yeah. is going to be uh, ministering that service. And we do that here in Russellville and really, really push for for youth, but we really outreach anybody. And it's it was such a great meeting last year. And uh, Brother Calhoun preached that for us last year. Okay, now, is Brother Co the Copeland from Georgia? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, so he's, he's super excited about coming. But we do, we do a number of things. We do a, a lot of outreach. We do outside services, which go over good here. And uh, we just, the, really, we don't limit anything. If it, if it can be done, we're going to try it. 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 If it fails, at least we try it. Do you it. have street services? We have had street service. We had a street service two weeks ago. Well, I'm uh, sorry, two, about a month and a half ago. Brother Mike Nolan uh, came and ministered in that service, and it was so powerful. We had a man come, get baptized, uh, receive the Holy Ghost. We have still have people coming to the church because of that service. It was powerful. Okay, tell us about your family. Well, the people's going to want to know oh, about yes. your family. Oh, yes. My family is awesome. I am blessed. Uh, my wife, Katrina, Katrina is uh, from... Uh, uh, from East Texas. She's not out of the storm. Is she? Uh, not that storm. No way. She's she's heard that all of her life. Yeah. Ever since that storm went through. Uh, but I tell you, she's she's awesome, beautiful. I love her, and uh, she uh, she is kind of my. If it wasn't for her, I don't know where we'd be. But she keeps it all together. She does the music and really does about everything. She's she's helps with everything. Keeps these kids. I got five kids. And I am blessed to say every one of them live right here in Russellville. And uh, my oldest daughter, uh, who you met tonight, and uh, she's uh, she's married. And uh, her and Cody uh, have one, my first grandson, who is just now fixing to be one, and that is Dawson. And then I've got another one, and she's 24. And then uh, Mallory, who's fixing to get married. She's getting married uh, here in January the 7th to... Uh, uh, right down the road here, brother. Is, is, is that for sure? That's for sure. At least yeah. to this point. <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah. But uh, she didn't have her dress ready. Uh, but uh, you never know. That's what she said. She says she's waiting on a dress. She better get it together. I told her, I said, it must be a powerful dress. <laughs> yeah, that dress. That dress is, uh, I'm going to take a special offer up for that dress. <laughs> it must, it must be, be being made in Paris. I, I would imagine it's, it's, got some, uh, it's got some specialty to it, and, uh, but it's, it is beautiful. And, uh, and she's going to be getting married here. She's only 19. And uh, so uh, she's, she's a pretty girl. I'm, I'm excited. I'm sweet, for her. and I noticed her singing tonight. She, she loves. Uh, she put everything she had into yes. it. Yes. And she's our youth. Uh, leader of our church, so we're gonna we're gonna see her go. She's gonna go down to with brother and uh, with her husband, of course, and they're gonna be working with your youth department down in Ozark. But uh, but that's okay. God is with her, and she's gonna do such a great job. I like it the way you folks get along here. Oh yes, sir. Churches all get along. And, uh, yes. You don't seem to be worried about somebody getting oh, your members. No. You just go ahead and have church together. And we do. We do. Well, that's that's a wonderful thing. It's it's been so good to have that friendship of ministry that we all work together. We all love one another. We care for one another, and we we, we help one another. It's it's been really now, good. Since I didn't ask you ahead of time, you don't have to. But I usually don't ask anything pre-planned. That's okay. Uh, is there anything that you would like to say that? You would like to add the comments and so forth, uh, Brother Marler. I'll tell you that about about the local church here, we we are seeing growth. We're seeing God do things. Being patient, we you know I don't ever get concerned on crowd size if people no. show up. I, I just have church. If it's yeah. just me, Brother Marler, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout and sing and love God, and I've taught our church that. That no matter the circumstance, is just to love God and 
and to pursue him no matter what, no matter what. Of course, you got a lot more than this, but that old scripture talks about where two or three are yes, together, sir. together. That's it. That's something real about that. It's truth. No great, there are no great big churches, no great small churches. It's just church. Yes, sir. It's church. That's right. We, we, you preach something tonight. Brother Marlon preached this, and, and uh, you, you preach tired of the politics of it, tired of the religion, tired of the programs. And that's one thing we, we just stay away from. I have found that just just giving God praise, worshiping yeah. God, and loving Him, that works. I'm well, telling you, people, works. people love it in its strength. Right. And uh, so, with that being said, are, are we're set up for wherever God is taking us. Let Him do it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, well, it's so nice to have you. It's yes, so sir. nice for you to be on the program. And I'm glad, glad that anybody that don't know you will... Get yes, sir. You. Oh, Brother Marler, you have blessed us. And well, it's you. a privilege. It's a privilege. Thank you so Love much. You. Appreciate it so much, too. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, sir.